Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. I want to take a second to welcome you to Friday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. Now all this week on the broadcast, we've been giving you a spiritual victory kit to overcome the coronavirus. And friend, I want to encourage you, if you missed any of the broadcasts this week, make sure you go back and watch because the Lord has really been helping us. And also, for those of you that have watched every broadcast, go back and watch again, look up the scriptures, and allow the Lord to feed your faith. Now, I want to start today's broadcast with this, that as believers, if you and I will live and walk by faith, no matter what comes into the earth, no matter what comes into our lives, if we'll live and walk by faith, we'll make it, we'll triumph, we'll overcome. You know, Psalm 46 verse 1 says this, that God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. What are they saying? We will not fear no matter what comes. You're talking about earthquakes. You're talking about great floods. You're talking about maybe volcanic eruptions, the earth being removed. And the psalmist is saying that because God is our refuge, because he's our shelter from danger, because he's our strength, because he's our help, because he supports us in difficulty, we will not fear. You know, I love how the Message Bible, it says this, we stand fearless at the cliff edge of doom. I want to read that to you again. We stand fearless at the cliff edge of doom. So with viruses all around us and threats of the economy falling and all this stuff going on at the cliff edge of doom, we will not fear. Why? Because this revelation is burning in our heart that God is our refuge. He is our strength. He is a very present help in a time of adversity. And so we don't fear any adversity that comes. You know, Isaiah 46, 4 in the New Living says this, I will be your God throughout your lifetime, until your hair is white with age. I made you, I will care for you, I will carry you along and save you. And friend, when revelation of the God who will take care of me begins to burn in your heart, it'll burn away every fear. In other words, when you begin to have revelation in your heart that no matter what comes, no matter if it's a virus, no matter if it's a flood, no matter if it's an earthquake, no matter if it's a hurricane, no matter what goes on in the earth, God will take care of me. When that burns in your heart, it will burn away every fear. Now, Psalm 36 and verse 4, it says, There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God. Now, we're still talking about in a time of turmoil. When the earth is removed, when the mountains are being cast into the sea, it says that in the middle of all this turmoil, there is a river, there streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy places of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She will not be moved. God will help her right and early. The heathen raged and their kingdoms are moved, but the city of God, the people of God, the tabernacles of the Most High, which you and I, we will, which you and I are, we will be glad in the midst of all these hard times because there is this river that's flowing to us and sustaining us. And see, friend, according to that verse, the heathen are going to be out there raging and in fear and in panic and in anxiety, and they're going to do without. And while all that's going on, come on, friend, say it with me. There's a river that's going to flow to us and take care of us. And we're not going to be moved and we're not going to be shaken because of this river. And see, no matter what comes, we can be sustained because there's a river. Now, I want to read you verse 7 in Psalm 46, and it says this, The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Now, why is it talking about the God of Jacob? Well, Jacob left his home with nothing more than what he could carry. He was alone, and he was going to make a 400-mile journey to Laban's house. Now, friend, there were no hotels. There were no restaurants, none of this. Jacob most likely was traveling through a wilderness, 
that was full of man-eating beast. Come on, he could have died of a cold in those times. He could have died of, of, of a common cold, of the flu, of just a fever. He could have been eaten by a lion. He could have been eaten by a bear. He could have died a thousand different ways, a thousand different times over. But he made that journey and he made it all the way to Laban's house. Laban tried to cheat him out of his provision. His brother Esau hated him. And yet Jacob made it all the way back home and he was a very wealthy man. He said he had two bands with him. That was a lot of people and servants and wealth and riches. And he was wealthy and he was prosperous and he was healthy and he made it all the way back home. And in Genesis 48, 16 in the Amplified Bible, he said this, the, the redeeming angel who has redeemed me continually from every evil. Jacob made it all the way. He made it through every sickness. He made it through every plague. He made it through every virus. He made it through every economic downturn. He made it through, through Laban trying to cheat him, through his brother hate him. He made it through all of that. The lions didn't eat him. The bears didn't eat him. <laughs> Come on. The West of Nile virus didn't kill him. Nothing, you know, a spider bite didn't take him out. Nothing took him out. He made it all the way back. And he said, the redeeming angel of the Lord redeemed me continually from every evil. And that verse in verse seven said, the God of Jacob is our refuge. The same God who took care of Jacob, who kept Jacob, who sustained him and saw to it that he made it all the way and triumphed over every evil that came against him. That same God, he is the God that is our refuge. And friend, what has to happen is it's got to start to burn in your heart that no matter what comes, you're going to make it. No matter what virus comes, no matter what happens to the economy, no matter what's going on in the world, you got to get to the place of faith where you say, I'm going to make it. I have faith in God that no matter what the virus does, no matter what the economy does, the God of Jacob is my refuge. And the redeeming angel of the Lord that redeemed Jacob continually from every evil will redeem you as well. Come on, friend, as we're closing out the broadcast, I want, to, I want you to say it with me. No matter what comes, I'm going to make it all the way. I'm going to triumph. I'm going to overcome. I'm going to walk in victory because God will sustain me. He is my strength. He is my refuge. He is my very present help in a time of trouble. Come on, friend, this is good news, isn't it? Now, as we're closing today's broadcast, I want to remind you of these three things. Number one, God is our refuge, our strength, our very present help in a time of trouble, and therefore we will not fear no matter what comes. Number two, no matter what comes, we can be sustained because there is a river that will flow to the people of God and take care of us. And number three, the same God that sustained Jacob and kept him is the God that we serve, and he is our refuge. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we thank you today that you are our refuge and our very present help in a time of adversity. Therefore, Lord, no matter what comes into the earth, no matter what comes into this life, into our lives, Lord, we believe that you're going to take care of us and you're going to sustain us, and therefore, we will not fear anything for any reason at any time because we believe that you're going to take care of us in Jesus name. Amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Hey, don't forget to come back Monday for our next edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.